So when, when I moved up to the north again um, a few years later, I, uh, I moved up to the northwest. And um, I moved uh, uh, to a homestead that had been, um, was one of the earliest homesteads uh, in those parts. So there's an old log cabin on, on a piece of land that had been built in 1906. And this is in an area called the Kispiox Valley. And it's, it's really, it's quite a remote place as it is even now. And so in 1906, uh, it, was quite, it was quite something to imagine what that would have been like to be in that original homestead. And I'm sorry, I liked it, but I can't uh, just say um, To have been that original sort of homesteader going out um, and trying to eat this living out of, uh, out of this scrap of wilderness. And, and starting from really raw, raw land, and uh, how, how how lonely that must have been. So this this poem is called Fish. A man is hewing a poplar log. He's alone. His brother traveling the thirty miles to town on horseback for supplies. He squares the log with a broad axe and dovetails the ends. Hefting it into place, he regards his work props one end down to smooth the closer joint. This house he builds faces south to a field, rough, stumped. Beyond the stumps are poplars, green with early summer, beyond those mountains. Already the house is five logs high. He is strong and quick. No neighbors for miles, he is also isolated and feels it. He doesn't imagine the lilacs his sister will plant years from now, her table whose length and generosity will make a legend of this home. No, he sees himself solitary, cloistered in dense bush, its silence, compelled by his work, but anxious already to move on from here. In this he is a steelhead, climbing doggedly upriver, engrossed in its own story and the legions of other fish, its singular tryst with the river, ascending the wilderness of water that speaks in the glottal stopped dialect of shifting pebbles. The man hews this testament into each log, imagining the story he lives as his only. Yet his work, his body, belong to the land that receives them, to the lineage trailing him like smoke. <coughs> 